Are you constantly struggling in repeat sentences? Not able to get full marks in the content? Struggling in the lengthier sentences and it is hard for you to remember the content? This video is going to be for you because in this video, I'm going to explain you the shortcuts, the methods to get full marks in repeat sentences. Now, in this video, I'll be explaining how you can get better content, how you can get full marks in fluency and pronunciation, and at least you will get 12 out of 13 in every single repeat sentence. So guys, let's work together to solve repeat sentence and let me show you how you can get full marks in repeat sentences and how you can increase your marks not only in the speaking portion but also for the listening module. Now repeat sentence contribute marks towards speaking and listening. For every single repeat sentence you get three marks which goes directly towards your listening module. So in this video, we'll be covering how you can get full marks for the content. But along with that, you also get marks for fluency and pronunciation. So that means 10 marks you get for speaking portion and three marks you get for listening portion from every single repeat sentence. In the exam, you can get somewhere around 9 to 13 of them. So this is a very important task not only for speaking but also for listening module but before i show you the three methods you need to make sure that you comment down because i personally reply to every single comment any issues you are facing i will be replying to your issues replying to your questions so if you have anything in your mind you can comment down and if you want me to make a video on any certain topic i will be doing that as well so firstly if i talk about the repeats and ends you will get somewhere around seven to eight which will be shorter not too lengthy but there will be two to three which are going to be very lengthy so what you have to do is you always have to maintain your flow and you have to maintain your clarity so that you always get full marks for the speaking portion for the content, I'm going to showcase you a couple of methods which will help you to get better with your content portion as well. So let me show you the easiest method, the method number one, which is remembering the content, but also trying to understand the message behind the sentence so that it really retains in your mind and you are able to get full content marks. The buildings looked extraordinarily beautiful in the brilliant sunshine of the day. The building looks sunshine to the day. Now, this is where students struggle. They only are able to capture a couple of words only, and that's why they lose the mark. So if I submit this one, the maximum marks I'm going to get is for the content, somewhere around two out of three. But on the other hand, I'm still getting full marks for fluency and almost full marks for pronunciation because I'm not using the microphone. But on the other hand, if you don't even speak these three to four words in a clear manner and with fluency you will end up getting maybe seven or eight only so first suggestion is try to remember as many as words you can and along with that also try to remember that your fluency and pronunciation they both are getting impacted as well but if you are able to speak them fluently with full clarity you will get full marks for this portion as well and this portion as well and at the end, we also go two out of three, which is not bad, just by speaking four words. This is what you guys need to remember in the sentences which are lengthier. Don't struggle. Don't stop in the middle of the sentence. Don't panic. Don't hesitate. Maintain your clarity and speak as many as words you can, but in the right sequence. Okay, so that you can get partial marking for the content as well. So this is very important, guys. You need to remember for the lengthy sentences. Now, this is just remembering the sentence, trying to understand the sentence and then repeating it. Now, there are a lot of students who just try to follow the strategy like they close their eye and then they speak or they just, you know, try to concentrate on the words and then they just try to repeat it. But one thing you always have to keep in mind, there is no beep sound. That means once a sentence is finished, the recording will automatically start within one to two seconds. So always start speaking the sentence after one to two seconds so that your full audio gets recorded. Okay. This is very important because sometimes students start speaking before the audio gets recorded and some of the words they misses out because it will not get recorded. Right. So this is very important. But the strategy over here is try to remember by focusing on the meaning of the sentence and by understanding or trying to focus or remember the words as much as possible and speaking them fluently with full clarity. 
because that will help you to get full marks for the speaking portion and partial marking minimum for the content and if the sentences are less let's say if the sentences of like eight to nine words you will be able to get three out of three as well because in repeat sentences there's a partial marking even with 80 percent of the content you can get full marks for the content that means three out of three the vehicle he traveled in collided with a train unexpectedly the vehicle he traveled unexpectedly collided with the train Now in this one, you guys could see that I took little pauses in between. That's why I lost the marks in fluency, but my content was fine. So this is another thing which you guys need to avoid. Your clarity and fluency needs to be stagnant. You cannot take pauses in the middle. It needs to go in one flow. And on top of that, it also needs to be clear so that you can get full marks for the clarity. Now, content is not the most important parameter here, guys, because for content, you still get partial marking. But for fluency and pronunciation, you can always get full marks. So make sure that you do not make any mistake either in the fluency or in the pronunciation and for the content try to speak as many as words possible but not by compromising your flow by your clarity so always make sure that your fluency and pronunciation is 100 percent correct so that you can get full marks for those two components let's talk about step number two the method number two where i will be taking some notes now some students are very good in note taking so this strategy works better for them you just have to take abbreviations for every single word all right and you try to then remember the content from your notes and then you speak it okay but again you need to make sure that your fluency and pronunciation should be perfect without making any hesitations or without making any clarity mistakes you have to attempt the answer but after writing the notes you will be able to capture more content but this strategy is not for everyone because the time is very less okay so only if you're good at taking notes if you think that you can you know write faster and you can capture or retain more content by writing it down then go for this so i will be attempting one question for you guys pay attention to this there will be no extensions given for this project there will be no extensions given for this project So as you guys could see that I've got 12 out of 12.8 out of 13 and with all the initial letters over here, I've got entire marks for the content, full marks for fluency and almost full marks for pronunciation. Now, this is only for students who are good at taking notes, right? This will help you even in the lengthier sentences, right? Because you will be able to capture the content faster and more as well. So this will help you to get better marks in the content. So try this strategy if you are good at taking notes because this will really help you to boost up your marks for the content. But on the other hand, if you are the student who struggles to take notes, then don't go for this strategy because I will be showing you third strategy which can work very well for you. Now, let me talk about this third strategy. The third strategy is a hybrid strategy. So it's a mix of strategy number one and strategy number two. You will be taking notes for some of the portions and you will be remembering some of the portions. Now, this is a strategy which I personally use as well because this really helps me to capture entire content for the lengthy sentences as well. And it also helps me because it is really short time guys when it is about the repeat sentences so you guys have to manage your time very effectively okay so writing the initials for all the words sometimes can be really challenging so i take notes for some of the words and i remember some of the words so let me show you how i do it so that way you can also try and use the same strategy and this will help you if you're struggling with your content my favorite place in my hometown is the main park located downtown. My favorite place in my hometown is the park located downtown. So 
So as you guys could see that I have got still perfect scores for the content. That means three out of three. My fluency in pronunciation is almost perfect. If I follow my microphone, I'll be getting full marks almost. But this strategy is really helpful because if you're going to get the sentences more than seven to eight words, that means closer to 10, 12 or 13, half of the words you have already noted down and half of the words you can easily remember. So this strategy works very well for the lengthy sentences. Okay, so this is what you need to do. You need to write down the initial letters or abbreviations for the first half and remember the last half. Or the other way you can also do that you can remember the first half and write down the initial letters for the last half. You can choose any strategy whichever works for you. I normally write down the initial letters for the first half and then I remember the last bit. Now guys, this is very important that you take the notes for half and you remember the half, but your fluency and pronunciation will be very stagnant because you cannot make any mistake in them. You need to be fluent, your clarity needs to be there, okay? And for the content, this strategy works like a charm, but you just need to get actual to it. So make sure that you practice about 20 to 25 on a daily basis so that you can get hang of the strategy and you can get better marks using this strategy, not only for the fluency and pronunciation, but also for the content. Now, these are the three strategies which I always recommend to the students. One of them always works for every single soul. You just need to identify which one is better for you. For me, the last one is better because it gives me enough time to write half of the notes and it gives me enough chance to remember half of it as well. And in the longer sentences as well, I'm able to manage it. But guys, content is not the king. Make sure that you focus on fluency and pronunciation as well. Do not let your content hamper them, okay? So content, you can still get two out of three. Even in the very long sentences, you will still get two out of three, but make sure that you always try to get full marks for fluency and pronunciation. I have seen so many students, guys, who are not able to speak 100% content and still they manage to get 19 speaking, 19 listening. So make sure that you also try to manage the same thing. Try to be, you know, fluent, speak as much as possible. Do not panic, do not hesitate and make sure that when you're speaking, be clear as well so that your clarity or pronunciation should be 100% too. Now guys, if you're struggling and you need quick tips, I'll make a lot of short videos on my Instagram channel. You can go over there and you will find a lot of useful tips and you can use them in your practice and get use of them. So if you have not checked them out, make sure to go and check out our Instagram channel as well. Now, if you like this video, make sure that you do subscribe and share it with your friends who are struggling in repeat sentences. There are a lot of students who are struggling in this task. This video can be really helpful to them. Make sure that you practice, use these strategies on Visual Language Experts portal and make sure that you are consistent with your practice too because consistency always helps students to get this course. Thank you guys. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Shale signing off from VLU.